Hey YouTubers, it's the Legend of Jack here. Uh, I'm bringing you some hardcore team deathmatch on the map Nuketown. Um, I want to do something for my next couple videos and I'm hoping that all of you will help me out. Um, I'd like for you all to pick my classes and my weapons and my full loadout. Um, so what I'd like you to do is uh, in the comment box if you could leave the weapons you'd like me to use, uh, the game types that you'd like me to do it on, and uh, the classes that you'd like me to have. And the most voted on ones uh, are the ones that I'll do. So I'll probably do the top two, if not the top three. And I'll bring that guy uh, to you guys, um, probably not tomorrow, but the next day. Um, I want to give you guys enough time to vote, first of all, um, and pick the classes and everything for me. Um, and then second of all, I'm bringing some Oblivion footage tomorrow uh, that I'm capturing later today of me doing some dungeons. Um, and I know a few of you are excited for that. I didn't get a bad response, actually, uh, first response to uh, my new Oblivion footage. It is my least amount viewed uh, subject matter, but I have to imagine that most of you watch my content for Call of Duty games, right? Um, so I'm just kind of trying to broaden the perspective on the gameplay that I'm bringing to you guys. Um, and in doing that, I'd really like you guys to pick a lot of what I do. Um, as you guys are the ones watching it, and I'm going to have fun no matter what. I mean, I love playing these games, and I'm not trying to really uh, imitate any commentator uh, or their style or their game type. Um, so it kind of allows me to feel free in the regards of bringing you really whatever you want to see and uh, then also throwing in the games that I naturally play and, uh, and that I want to throw up online. Um, okay, so yeah, do that for me, guys. Comment, 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 comment. But anyways, uh, moving on. In my last few videos, we talked about the Law of Accelerating Returns, also known as Moore's Law, also known as the Jumping Jesus the Effect, uh, among other things, I'm sure. Um, we also talked about time travel, um, and there was it was kind of cool. I kind of got this like, general consensus among my subscribers that if they could go back in time and do one thing, and they would, generally speaking, stop some kind of horrific event from happening. And I thought that was very brave and very noble of, uh, of you guys. I, I hope that you would stay true to that. Um, and I hope it never, well, I mean, I, I don't know what I hope it comes to. Um, but I mean, if, if we could go back in time, you might imagine that we could go into the future. And if we could go into uh, travel back in time and travel into the future, you might imagine that uh, there are some people that would take advantage of that for negative means. I mean, I did get a few comments in that regards too, seeing what people could uh, uh, possibly get up to. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, getting into Moore's Law and getting into uh, time travel, um, I kind of now want to ask you guys if you could go into the future now. Um, the first question will be, if you could go into the future um, and uh, see an event take place, or let me, hmm, I don't know if you'd want to, because we don't even know what's going to take place. So, if you could go into the future and gather one crucial piece of information, what would you be looking for and why? And then who would you bring it back to and why? Um, now, I know some of you are going to pick the obvious, um, but let's try not to be obvious here. Let's try to do something that would benefit all of humanity um, and not just the self because I mean it's obvious you know you could go look at the winning numbers of uh, you know any one of many lottery games out there and then just give yourself the lottery numbers to pick it before the date actually occurred um, you know so I mean there's there's all these selfish things that could be done but let's think of something noble and amazing that could be done and then fill those out in the comment box and the most uh, common theme out there, whatever the theme is, kind of, generally speaking, is the, what I'll tell my subscribers in the next video as well. Um, so, but yeah, I really do want to know what you guys think about that. And I also, generally speaking, want to know if you guys think it's even possible to do one or the other. Um, I mean, just because we're reaching this point uh, with technology where things that were not once possible are now possible doesn't mean that time travel itself is, is possible. And there's still those other theories about if uh, time travel even was possible, if it would just create alternate realities in the first place, or if it would really just truly be an alternate this version of the current reality, um, if that wasn't confusing enough in the first place. But anyways, uh, I really want to know what you guys think about this subject. Um, it's interested me for a long time now. And uh, I know it's something that interests many, many of you out there as well. Um, you can see it in the TV, uh, in the entertainment world, and in uh, YouTube videos and things like that as well. So um, I really do want to know what you guys think. And uh, for my next videos, please leave comments and tell me what you want to see. 
As always, I am Legend of Jack, and I am out of here. Peace!